All right, we're going to do a photo view of Just Dio. It's going to be Breeze on uh, Sova. I'm going to move my camera here. All right. So let's see. Attacking half. We'll see what you do and how you Get can it. fix a lot of stuff. Oh my God, that's loud. Ignored it. No, it's Brazil. All right. So you're using an arrow to land on an A side. I would say that this you drone right now is like not needed. Like first of the bat, right? Look, you're using the arrow, right? On site. And you're pushing in. Look at the position of your teammates, right? They're committed. They're like fully committed. Like your your drone is essentially making you not play, I would say, right? Because you have to like wait for it. Also, where you the ran. fuck did your where the fuck did your um, arrow land? Did it even land at all? Wait. Oh, it lands backside. Okay, nice. You ran to the fuck. She's close to the wall. She's close to the wall. Yo, the font is so weird on the Russian. Look at the numbers. The 45. I want HP. Again, the pyramid. I think them, I think them. Viper one. I think Viper one. He's one HP. Yes, sir. Yeah, Dart two. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so far, I don't really have like a lot of notes right now. I like that you waited for the arrow to go go up to plant. Right? Then you jump peek for info. You're right, you're right, you're right. Right now was Oh uh, that peak uh, I don't know man. Backside. You're right, you're right, you're right. You should have been playing on contact of chamber. Look at this right now. So, what happens here, right? Look at the minimap. See this? Your chamber is not able to help you out. And the thing is that if this guy just hits you, kills you now, then you're the reason why you're losing this round. Or at least there's a chance that you're losing the round. So, if you played the role reversed, chamber holds this, and then you swing on this contact, that's the correct play. And now you baited him by not not peeking. Like, look, Chamber is like, oh, no, 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 I need to help this, this Cypher. I really need to help the Cypher, right? So uh, he peeks, he starts shooting, and right now when he's shooting, you need to swing. This hesitation from you here, I don't know if you lost this or won this, but this hesitation from you right here might be the reason why you're losing this round. Yeah. Wait, you just got... <laughs> uh, Alright, um, so, notes from this round. The drone, completely not, not useful, right? Because your team is already committed to the site. So you're just essentially not playing the, the round with them. So don't use the drone in a situation like this. Arrow is nice. And, uh, and that, that peak that you did pushed Chamber to swing out and help you. And then you baited him. So it doesn't matter if you like, it doesn't matter if you communicate it or not, because that's on you. Like he doesn't, he doesn't have to communicate with you, right? Because he's just holding an angle, right? So just fucking, just fucking don't do that. Or you tell him, come swing. Because right now you baited him into peeking and then you baited him into not trading him. You know what I mean? Like, this is purely your fault. And I'm not saying this to insult you. This is like a very good lesson for everyone involved. I have another flash. Just hold on. Nice, nice arrow. Grab bombs over. Yeah, why did you buy a shield? I'm not, I'm not sure I understand. Why did you buy a shield here on round two? Are you forcing this? No, you're not. So, okay. So, notes for this round already. Um, you're gonna have to spend 400 credits next round for a silver drone. You should buy it this round, right now, 
and have it for the next round. You don't have to use it this round, but it would be much more useful for you if you would have the drone instead of the shield. I always buy a half shield with Vandal. Yeah, but the half shield right now doesn't give you shit. Like, it's literally not giving you shit, and you're spending cash that you could have gotten a drone. Like, you have a classic. What do you want to achieve here? And you also use a shock dart for a, for a 2v3v5. Oh. 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 So it's like, let, let's pay attention to what, uh, what you're gonna buy now. Right, so you have 150 left, but the thing is, you could have, you could have had way more. And also remember that in this game, right, the half shields are actually very important because they have a fucking viper and sova, and all of that shit will deal chip damage. If you go through a viper orb or um or or wall, you're getting into a range of two free bullets, while with full shields, you would have not gotten that. You know? No fucking shot. Yeah, man. Yo, what the fuck are we not getting this fight? We have no wall anymore. Jesus, that dart fucked me so hard. I'm not sure against that spike. No. On site, on site, one. Spike on me. In pyramid. Never crouch against the sheriff, but good shots. Someone needs to be like a designated dark shooter. Also remember that in this game, if for long range, you have much more long range battles against phantoms in this game. Uh, because of the fant like because of the range, like so full shields are actually way more impactful on this map than any other, I would actually say. Is the strafe slower of ADS or the same? Yeah, it, it is slower. Okay then. Yo, there's one like right here. So I, right now, the drone I like I because you have the ult really and you're trying to just get the ult off. I'm assuming, at least. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't like that at all though. You read the position of, of the Sova drone, I guess, but it's like, you, you see your range. Look at, look at the range, look at the range. It doesn't give you jack shit. And once they actually do a retake, you're able to get more value. Right now, this one is just like popped for no reason. I would assume. Because even if you read into the position of Sova droning, I don't know if you got comps on it or not, didn't hear it, but that ult is not reaching that most likely, right? And you had the arrow in five seconds, so you could have had a nice combo. What the fuck? So you, you said that you're not playing Sova load, right? So um, remember that it's very easy to do basic shit by, uh, by doing one bounce. And remember that you have like the entire wall over here, right? Like what you can do is you can just bounce it like this and land it here. So it has the coverage over here, right? Like this. You don't have to do it like high up because it can get fucked because this wall here is not that high up. But it would definitely be more useful than just arrowing here. I'm assuming you wanted to do an arrow over here, but you missed it because you did a bounce. And if you would just want to put the arrow over here, well, then there's no reason to bounce, right? But I think you're spamming neutral just because you have it right now in this round. Time for a day. Just stall for our mollies. Uh, don't worry about this. Okay. Oh, I don't know 
I like that. Alright, that was well played. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that you didn't get distracted by the arrow. Because you assume that the player behind you should shoot it, and he should. So you're still being focused on, on the A main. And that's good. But so far, I see like you're trigger happy on your utility. And also, look at the amount of cash that you have. Right now, in this round, in this round, right here, 100% mistake in not buying full armor. 100%. Because they're on the lower buy. They're gonna buy sheriffs. And that sheriff suddenly is a headhunter just because you have a small armor. It's impossible to hit B. They, they have both some Viper deciphered. Watch out for marshals. I think we dart. Do that same dart and we walk up elbow. That was opping from top mid in that last round. Like this. They walled me. We did that last round. Okay. Oh, Jesus. That Reina entered. Do we know what our offer is? No, I think we drone B main. Just go B main. Go B main together. Yeah. Uh, I like I like how we controlled space this round. This was actually pretty good. Very controlled. You are controlling the B main in case they are pushing out when players are coming out of elbow. This all makes sense. But you are not communicating. Are you speaking in the game at all, my friend? Wait, are you speaking at all? I am, but I had OBS muted. Ah, okay, yeah, because I see your I see your name pop up on the left, but I I don't see it, I don't hear it. So I I assumed it. Yeah. Also, did they just have an operator on an eco for no reason? What happened here? How the fuck does this guy have an operator? Save from, from the last round? Ah, okay, I can, couldn't remember that. You're right, you're right. What's this? Cypher's here. Yeah, so... I feel like this is kinda trolling. Like, that you... Uh, I can't say whose fault this is. Because this is like, just typical fucking ranked. But I would be mad as fuck at myself if I was the chamber because I peek without fucking any util, without any flash, without any drone, without any arrow, without anything, right? And he dies for no fucking reason because he's stupid as fuck. But also, like, you could have used the arrow early, right? In case you know that they, that they are going in, right? 40, 40. So... I don't like this angle that you're taking here because you're not helping the team. That's something that in the previous breeze I was mad as fuck whenever was this happening. People are going bricks and think they are helping the site. But it's like you don't see anything. The players that look look at from this perspective, where does have to player be to for you to get a kill? Only here. This is the only spot where a player has to be. Because this player here, from like, like from here, he is not swinging this, like ever, right? So right now you cannot help this player because you can never swing and help him, right? If someone goes pyramid here, you cannot help him as well because you don't see shit here. Like this position in bricks in general, I just heavily dislike. And I would love to see players just take more peeks here when your teammates are like fighting here because that actually can help you know and also look at reyna what is she doing i whatever man what the fuck is that reyna doing there 40, 40. so yeah Spike not up. nice shot Oh, 
Oh, finish lock up, Elda. Just don't make noise. If Viper Angel would go behind Pyramid, they might push out the players standing there. Yeah, but they are not, and you see that. So that's like, guys, one thing that really annoys me is like, what if the players that are doing something would completely do something different? That would excuse me. That's like the kind of mindset that makes no sense. So why I, man, you just put it I, I think Rainer walked down again. They, they always like walking down. Yeah, she did. Also, I'm not a fan of, of taking this position as a Sova and just not doing anything. It's like either you commit to it, right? Like, your players are playing slow, right? And you, this is an arrow for B uh, pipe, I'm assuming, right? Look how late it lands. Where the fuck did it land? Did it land? Am I stupid? Where did the fuck it go? Narnia. Yeah, you definitely missed this one. Like, if you use this lineup, make sure you understand how many seconds it takes to land, right? It's very important. Like, go into a custom map and be like, wait, actually, let me do the same fucking lineup. So you stand in this corner and you aim here. One bounce? I think you had one bounce, right? Let's do it again. This is this is such a I would say um easy to miss lineup because of the fact that it's you know like this is round. It's so easy to miss this shit. Alright, so I aimed a little bit more to the right and now it's more consistent. Alright, so essentially, let's see how long it takes. Have to line up with your viewer model in the tower or with the HUD? I mean, no, no, you don't have to. Like right now, I just aim my crosser in this spot right here. So it aligns into this slot. Like for me, this is pretty easy. Because as you can see, my crosser fits exactly there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five seconds. Like five, six seconds. So you need to understand now that if it takes five, six seconds for this lineup to go in, right? Then you need to know how this fits into movement of your teammates. Because right here... Like, it landed too late, right? But also, look at the players. They are like... Actually, it would be great timing. No, 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 scratch what I just said. It would have been great timing if he would have hit the, 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 the fucking arrow. It would have been great timing. And you would have probably gotten the kill because of that. On that guy, on the, on the Viper. Everything's down. So, scratch what I said about the timing, I thought the timing was off, but the timing of the arrow would have actually been great in this case. So that positioning of the teammates going from mid through elbow towards, towards side would have been actually uh, really well supported. I like that you reposition when the Viper takes the spot that you were holding. Good responsibility changes. Uh, uh, nice, nice, nice. A little bit hungry for kills, but it's fine. Am I recording? Yeah, I am. I'm proud of you. You have full shields. Uh, don't hide, don't hide! Help your chamber, help your chamber! 
Oh my god. I was... Like, this is something that I'm so mad at ranked players. Look. Your chamber is out. Right now, what you can't be doing is what you're doing. You shouldn't be hiding. If you, if you want to play correctly this, you need to be swinging out or holding the, the angle for the chamber. Like right here. Yeah, like the, the sky is like... And now when he's safe, now we can follow, which is okay. But the first instinct that you went to the right and left him alone was like, oof. That was rough. One thing that I also like feel like that's playstyle dependent. Like it really depends on on your own playstyle. But if I know that I play Omen, I play Sova, Fade, uh, whoever who has a cooldown impactful utility, right? So a smoke, arrow, eye, and so on. If I know that we're gonna be playing slower, if I know I will be playing slower, I'm gonna be using that piece of utility first tempo anywhere on the map. Also, our jet is trolling. Why on earth are you in fucking there? Like, it makes no fucking point. Just don't go there. One, one, uh, a Just don't go there. holes. It's pointless. That's gonna miss again, no? I actually didn't miss this time. Or did it? I actually think it did. I actually think it missed. I think it's behind the the fucking leaf. I'll be honest with you. I think it's behind the fucking leaf. Wait, is my lineup better? Yeah, it is definitely better. Just use my lineup, brother. Just use my lineup. Yeah, dude, no, no, no. Just, just use this one. Just use this. Just use this, and this is way more consistent and clears the same. Clears also the player over here, right? So just use mine. Because yours is just falling somewhere here. The best lineup would be... Um... Probably on the pipe, but that would be like a double bounce shit that... Yeah, I don't have time to figure it out. But it's like, this is... This is good. There's one half Alright, that was good timing on the, on the ultimate. I like yeah, this. Like so far, I'll, I'll be honest with you, you play pretty well. There are some things that everyone, like, everyone makes mistakes in every single game. You never had perfect games. There's always something that could have done better differently. You know? But so far, we'll have to say that you're playing pretty well. But the thing that I don't like is like the... the the semi baiting that is in your in your blood, I would say. Like with the chamber in pistol round, like with the chamber in a cave here, right? And remember that if you play against a cypher, right? If you're playing against a cypher, your shock darts are absolutely the best piece of utility to destroy cypher traps. Two more. One more. Yellow. 40 on both of them. You have dart five. Call save, call save, call save. I don't like this. Like, I, I legit think with the arrows that you're doing, this is the second time from A Cave. I legit think you're like, <gasps> arrow active, 
need to fucking use it right now. You don't have to. And even if you have to, look at the minimap right now. There's a fucking huge cloud in front of you. This arrow doesn't do shit. An impactful arrow, you, you would have few options. One option, save the arrow and just hold it for the moment he taps the spike. Right? Or use the arrow now, but shoot the arrow for the backside here. So at least your Viper will know that if he's, if he's getting pushed from that side. Because right now, this, this arrow that you used is like literally just absolutely pointless. Does the arrow not work in Viper Pit? It works. It works in Viper Pit. But it, it sees literally the same as the, as the uh, other players. Wait, they, they here. You might have stacked it. He takes me through the smoke of a deagle? Four from one HP. Run it, run it, run it. Wait, I have to lurk, guys. I, he takes me with a deagle through the smoke. You should do a late lurk. In general, um, start coming out. Yeah, if I will be I like a Sova main, so right? Much. If I'm a Sova main that plays Breeze and there's a Cypher, that was on I would me. aim to create starting lineups from like a beginning of the round. Up top, up top. Ah, no, bro, 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 bro. See, uh, but this comes from lack of experience on Sova. This comes from lack of experience on Sova because the uh, the arrow that you do here, right? Pay at, pay attention to how you do the the recon. You jump spotting for no reason. Jump spotting for no reason. What you should be doing right here, right? I I I assume this is from lack of experience on Sova, right? I'm in the same position as you. I'm I'm doing fucking shock dart here. I kill the cipher, right? And then I know there's one more player here. I'm not doing this. Because that makes no sense, even worse, right? What you can do is just literally do this, and this achieves the same thing. I never get exposed into danger, and it's... And that's it. And achieves the same thing. But I never jump into opponent's crosshairs, so I can never get killed. Right? And also, it covers more ground because yours is just like literally not uh, not clearing yellow, right? Like many many um, Sovas players are like, I have to, I have to push out to use the arrow. It's like literally the angel uh, angel cosplay, you know? You know you know how many times Angel died with his bow and arrow in his fucking hands because he never thinks about exactly this. Many. In professional games. So uh, I was also speaking about like um, what I would do if I would be a Sova main, right? Let's say I'm a Sova main and there's a Cypher and or Killjoy uh, on on the on the map. I would create lineups from the starting positions, like here or something like that, right? That would land here and here. So it's like I'm starting the game and I have a shock dart lineup that goes, I don't know, towards fucking this here. So the point is, right? The point is you want it uh, to destroy a potential, uh, potential... Well, you can learn from this, I guess. Just made a lineup. Um, you destroy potential like uh, equipment from the cipher, like the traps. So I guess you stand like this. Very easy lineup. So you stand here, like this. Then you aim arrow over here on this building. One charge. No, never mind. It was meant to be two charge. Stand here.
Here we go. And this destroys some traps, most likely. Right? It's also a nice fucking arrow in case you want to fucking fake it. Right? So that's pretty nice. So that's one lineup that you can do. Copyrighted. Right? So stand here. HUD over here. Two charges in the lens. And you can do that with a shock dart to destroy like potentially alarm bots or or cipher traps on the entrance. And I would essentially do that every round almost if I'm a if I'm a, a sofa player. And then the second lineup I would have for here would be probably very similar. Wait. First first try, okay? First try. First try, my friends. First try. So it's here. Okay. First try. Perfect. First try, my friends. Hey, but Luther, but why are you doing always your own fucking lineups? That's why. Literally never did this before, but I can learn from what I have done in the past three years and understand how to use it instantly. All right? So, stand on this. And I aligned again the same arrow on this here, like this. If I remember correctly, same charge. And this potentially also destroys uh, some traps on the most spots that people are pushing, right? And then I would do the same for, uh, for B main. This is going to be harder from here because the geometry is not good for you here. So it would have to be like a... probably bounce from this over here. You know? Hmm. Can I do this? Almost. Anyway, my point is, is like you can work on this stuff and create those liners for yourself to be like active from the moment you start the round. And you get potentially value out of that, right? Because what I see with many with many sovas is that they don't they never get value out of their utility. They're just just they're spamming it for shit, you know? And that applies to every, every agent, but it's oh! So I understand why, because you don't have elbow control, but it was risky as fuck. By the way, when you tap the... Uh, that's actually very niche. When you tap the orb, right? Look at this. When you tap the orb, never do movement like this. You're literally going backwards, right? So your opponent gets the ping on this audio source, and then you decide to move in a straight line backwards. That means that if someone is elbow, he's gonna exactly peek into your location. So if you tap the orb, it's always better to change the position left-right for the opponent to not peek into exactly the audio source. Very fucking niche, by the way. But you might have find this helpful helpful at some point. Thirty 
At this point, I would be saving. Although you have a lot of cash. Uh, so probably not. Yeah, probably not worth saving. Although, yeah. Uh, all right, so depending on... Like, if you want to really fucking min-max, right? You could look at the orbs of the opponents and be like... Uh, wait, why is my chat not working? If someone was writing, I didn't see shit because my chat was just off. Anyway, um, if you're in a position like this, it's very highly unwinnable, right? And you're running out of time with like 10 seconds left. You can look at the amount of orbs that the opponents have and be like, is it worth giving them one orb because you die, right? Oh, your, your fucking stuff destroyed an uh, trap already. So your shock that already got value right now. He has a trip here. Slipshot, give me a moment, my friend. Yeah, your arrows definitely need... Why? I know that you, you were afraid of, like, being... You were afraid of being peaked. Right? But instead of cancelling it, you could just spam the shot in front of you. And then you are like 100% aware. Like, if someone wanted to swing you, you would have been dead anyway. And potentially, by the way, remember, your ultimate also can clear traps, right? Why are we slowing down? We lost our timing. That's the blue. I'll be back That's also one thing I heavily dislike in ranked players. Look, right here. You chose to speed up because of the knife, but you literally peek out without your gun ready. That knife is completely unnecessary, so is the jump. That is like a habit that many people have. It's an awful habit. This is actually not giving an advantage. You just gave yourself a disadvantage because someone can be in those positions over here right and you just fully expose yourself to those three angles right here without a gun ready while soon. jumping up i'm so dead i'm so dead Oh my god, that was even worse. So, in this position, right? I feel like not shooting is your best option right now. Like, you're already fucked. You put yourself into a position where you cannot get out of, right? So, uh, so you have few options right now. You commit to a rotation and you go backside, help the jet, right? Or you just tuck in the corner right here and you try to get a kill when they're pushing side. Because right now, it's like... Right here, you're fully exposing yourself. They can already trickle down without your knowledge, right? So you're getting fucked from multiple angles. And that literally happened, so right? So either you reposition right now, either you reposition right now, or you tuck in the I'm corner. So like the, the option number three that you chose over here is definitely the worst. What this chamber did is like, you can't even fucking, what the fuck, man? Anyway. All right, I hope you enjoyed the vote review. Uh, in general, I would say you play pretty well. There's some small stuff that you definitely can fix and more pay more attention to. Your Sova arrows are definitely used a little bit too hastily. You know, it's like you, you use it a little bit um, without thought of what you want to achieve, right? You put yourself into danger as well whenever you love uh, whenever you uh, use the utility as well. And the shock dots, typically, I like the fact that you're using them when the smokes were up, so you're not getting exposed, right? But I feel like because we don't have um, a lot of uh, experience on Sova, I also feel like you're getting more, like you're pushing yourself more to use the utility just because you know you play Sova and you don't have a lot of experience on him. So you have to like use it more just because you have it. You know, that's a very typical mindset that people have on a new agent.
There's like, I'm playing this new agent because of this utility, so I'm gonna fucking use it. Too much. You know? So, um, that would be my, my, uh, my opinion about this. And in general, like, I like the way that you play. Like, um, it's, it's, uh, you, you seem to be a smart player, you know? So thank you for sending the vote review and see you next time.